Greetings! I have continued my act of savageness on the SOC, Broadcom SOC from the Skybox that I took, took apart and I was interested in how a little, um, little piece of silicon gets fanned out to all those connections. There is um, a ton of them, um, quite a lot of little balls on the BGA and the, the surface of the silicon is literally one tenth, just under one tenth of the actual surface area of the entire chip. So what I've gone and did, I first of all, I cut the chip. So I cut it along the edges like so um, to keep the entire surface of silicon and like one corner of PCB. So you can imagine this is uh, what the chip was like before. So I've got a good portion of the chip, just under half of it. And then um, what I did, I've uh, put a piece of dowel over here with uh, some epoxy and I've started grinding it down on my hard disk uh, sander and in order to achieve the, the gra gradient like this um, then I've gone and put it on a uh, on a piece of glass with 1200 grit sandpaper to polish it out and there it is so there is quite a few layers on here uh, of different connections and whatnot so let's get a little bit closer and I show you what I can see Okay, there we go. So this is as far as I can go using this setup and in the top right corner It's a silicon that I've gone uh, Beyond where the structure is and then you can see the colors changing the diffraction where there is just a little bit of exposed uh, Silicon structure that was causing that those light reflections over there So yeah, this is where all the pretty pretty stuff is uh, sitting um, then you've got a very very tiny bow um, array um, right to the left of it and there is basically those are ridiculously tiny and ridiculously close together this would be impossible to solder onto a chip it, they must be using some special process this gets connected out using three separate copper layers let me just readjust the focus a little bit Okay, that's a little bit better. Hopefully you can see like right about in the middle of the screen right now um, what sort of pitch of tracks are we talking about? Those are ridiculous. I haven't got a way to measure this out but um, just just look at it. Those are super super thin layers and there's there seems to be from the uh, bow array from that uh, that's sitting on the silicon itself then appears to be three layers of copper um, with uh, vias and connections between the layers and whatnot and all of that is sitting in relatively thick uh, this yellow stuff relatively thick and this yellow stuff is something for the like of, uh, the likes of fiber glass fiber reinforced PCB uh, you can see the almost see the woven pattern over here I'm just losing focus this is a little bit fiddly to show you but there we go and then on top of that we've got much thicker tracks already uh, but those are still minute and there's another three layers that help to fan out all the connections there's in total six layers of copper sandwiched in between um, you know some sort of dielectric layers and that goes out to the uh, bow grid array now those are uh, this is the actual bow grid array on the outside and you can see that for the comparison um, the size of this uh, then the tracks in here you can see there is some features visible uh, look at those tracks uh, those are really really small and I haven't sanded it down on it this is what I have not sanded down with the 1200 grit sandpaper um, because I've gone a little bit too far and there is a bit of a pit over there and then all those vias and back down to those trucks and this sort of size this is absolutely amazing I'm at least very amazed about this and I thought I'll share because you might find it interesting this is astonishing you know to be able to actually get that done this is 
this is amazing anyways that's going to be a really quick video I just wanted to show you this so thank you very much for watching give me thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more random stuff for the time being take care